Boy, it was just a couple days ago we did a story out of San Francisco after a series of black on Asian robberies all over the city, all over the region. The mighty San Francisco Examiner came out and gave us the good news that Asian people, don't worry about it. You're not really being targeted by the fellas because the crime rate's a lot higher among fellas than it is among Asians. And so, what? What are you talking about? Here's the one question they don't answer. Would you please compare and contrast the black on Asian crime rate versus the Asian on black crime rate and then tell me who's being targeted and who's doing the targeting? Done tons of stories out of San Francisco, Sacramento, all over the country. Headline, Asian people targeted. And, and the inevitable people doing the targeting are fellas and lovely ladies. It's just a thing. We've documented it like ad nauseum. We're going to add one to the ad nauseum documentation today. Down in Atlanta, another Asian business owner followed home by another fella. This time killed. And everybody down in Atlanta wants to pretend that you guys have not been doing stories on black people targeting Asian business owners for robbery and murder for a very long time. Now everybody wants to know, like, hmm, there must be a pattern here, but what is it? The reporters can't figure it out. Everybody else in town has. We have an update on a story we told you about over the weekend. We're learning more about a Gwinnett County man who was shot and killed in his garage. CBS 46's Megan Packer learned police are investigating whether he was targeted because of his business. Customers showing up to the victim's check cashing business here in DeKalb County are devastated to learn of his death, especially knowing he survived a shooting right here just a few years ago. That's really sad. He was a good guy. He didn't deserve any of that. No. And he's been in this community for years. For years. Shock and surprise turned to heartbreak as customers learned about the murder of a business owner they've all come to know. He went out of his way to help you. He was a very nice guy. 49-year-old Suki Hong, the owner of this check cashing business at Panola and Farrington Roads, was shot and killed Friday night. It happened around 10 o'clock when he was getting out of his car in his garage on Kendrick's Ridge Drive in Sugar Hill in Gwinnett County. Family members found him with significant head trauma. Only thing we could do now is just keep praying and pray that things will change, but it, it's getting really ridiculous. Investigators went inside of Hong's store as they worked to find who killed him, looking into whether the shooting was connected to his work. Hong was robbed and shot outside of his business in 2014. Police never made an arrest. But he stayed open and he stayed in the community. So, I mean, that was still giving us support. So for that to happen, oh my God. He survived and he stayed here, so it's sad. It's just, it's just really sad. So we just can't do nothing but just pray for his family now. Detectives are still working to determine what, if anything, was stolen when Hong was shot. One thing is clear, a beloved member of this community will be sorely missed. I love these reporters, right? The, these TV reporters, they do some rudimentary research and they wave it around in front of the TV screen to let you know that they're on the job. They're really digging into this. But what they're not, I mean, I mean, so they're not even using Google to see that this old Asian dude going home from work with cash, it's just part of a pattern of black people targeting Asian business owners for robbery, home invasion, murder. You can't even see that. I mean, here, I mean, it's all over the place in your own Google. Let's look at one story just as a reminder. Armed thieves are targeting owners of Asian food restaurants. Police in Gwinnett County say the crooks have followed employees home and robbed them. Investigators tell us the same crew hit victims of one business twice. Fox 5's Marissa Mistral live at the live desk tonight with those details. Marissa. Well, Carrie and Sine, I started out today pulling this report of a home invasion that happened last week in Decula. And as I read through it, I learned a group robbed the same family at gunpoint at their house just days earlier. Investigators now tell me the criminals are targeting the victims as they leave their Chinese restaurant. 
Gwinnett County Police say this video shows a terrifying crime inside a family's Decula house. Investigators say it happened around 9.30 March 19th after a couple left their Hong Kong restaurant on Old Peachtree Road. The victim told officers she was walking inside when she heard her husband yell in the garage. Moments later, three men robbed the couple at gunpoint. These three suspects kind of pile into the home. Uh, they kind of ransack the place and steal a bunch of items. And they weren't done. Sergeant Jake Smith with Gwinnett County Police says the same group returned to the house in the subdivision near Hamilton Mill Parkway the very next week. He says that time they broke in and stole cash before leaving. A relative hid in a room until the crooks left. It's scary. You know, you come to work every day. We spoke with an employee at a nearby Chinese restaurant. She was too afraid to show her face, but says she heard about the crimes. Police believe the three men followed the couple home from their business and then left in this black or dark colored SUV. We strongly recommend that they use a bank rather than taking these large amounts of cash home with them. Uh, just use a bank, maybe an armored car service. When we go home, we have to like together, like stick together, five people, you know, one lock the door and we go. Hopefully, you know, they catch the whoever, you know, do this. Why do we even need a reminder? Why do we need remi to remind reporters that black crime in Atlanta is wildly out of proportion and Asian people are often the targets of it? Why do we need to remind people of the obvious? Please, sir. I want some more. It has to be something more than they just don't want to make the black kids angry. Thank you.